the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. All right, I want to switch gears, obviously, to a few of your, I guess, uh, counterparts, right? Deontay Wilder's most recently been in the media. Seems like a fight with Tyson Fury is very possible. Spoke to Espinosa, the head of Showtime Sports. He's saying that they're looking to put in Fury and Wilder in November, December. Um, do you think Wilder will get the credit with Tyson Fury having two tune-up fights and then coming straight into the WBC champion? Well, you know, I think Tyson Fury is good for the sport because he do talk his way into a lot of situations. He did have some big wins in his career, so he is proven. Um, so I, w I would say yes, you know what I mean? You know, people ask me, Peter, why you been out the ring so long? They want to see me go right back in and fight somebody on top of the line, and, and so be it. But, you know, Tr Felix Trinidad in his career, he never came and took tune-ups. He went straight in, and, and he showed up, and he was in big fights where he actually won. So um, Deontay Wilder is my personal friend, you know, but friends don't have nothing to do with the winner the winner always going to win whoever that may be is going to be the best man but I, you know my, my money is always on Wilder because he has something different a lot of guys don't got and that's a one punch that could change the whole fight ability and people don't know where he got it from but I think it comes from his confidence and his faith in God now uh, they're speaking that this is a possibility to be on pay-per-view um, where do you think it lands in terms of numbers because this would be a good negotiation, I guess, tactic for uh, Deontay Wilder, who's had some issues in negotiating a deal with Anthony Joshua. M most, I guess, meaningful is Eddie feeling like Wilder doesn't bring enough to the table, that he needs to raise his profile. So if Wilder's able to do a U.S. pay-per-view and get some good numbers, then that negotiation with Anthony Joshua will make things happen. Any I, I, numbers? I, I, look, the numbers do talk, you know, what Wilder's been doing already. The numbers are there, you know. We haven't had uh, an American heavyweight, uh, especially a black American heavyweight, and so many. When, when was the last time you said we had an American heavyweight as a champion? Tyson? Evander Holyfield, maybe? I guess like 90s and, you know, whatever. Since the Klitschko's had it, they took it overseas, and they had the belts ever since. So I think we should, in America, support our own fighters. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing that. You know, you go to England, who's the top dog over there? Anthony Joshua. All right, they support their champions. Why we don't support them? We always looking for somebody to come here and beat our champions. That's so whack. That means we don't have no no support in our own country. We need to come together. Look where the, the country at right now with the, the vision. The, you know, you're talking about the, the president. They they always finding something fault in somebody. So you know, for me, you know, let's represent our country. Let's let's support our people here. Let's support Deontay Wilder. Let's get those numbers where the pay per view should be. You know, because this is a fight right now. He represent our country. He was representing you know, black alone to be able to go out there and not rob and break in houses but you can also be a father to kids and be at home doing a, a legal job so you know I'm always going to support that and you know I'm sorry that I got to look at everything as a political kind of thing but I think it is and especially in this country let's support our fighters I mean politics run boxing without those numbers he won't get the fight that he wants but I need a prediction on pay-per-view buys how many you think he and Tyson Fury do I think I actually do a, a, a lot of buys. I definitely gonna do more than what Janeta Glavkin did in his numbers <laughs> before he fought. So more than 170 Gennady and Lemieux did. Yes. All right. Well, Peter, thank you so much. What's up, TPV family? Yes, yes. YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late, and with net neutrality uh, going through its process, the internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to Patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.